first reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. There was a tent which comprised two compartments, the first in which the lampstand, the table, and the presentation loaves were kept, was called the holy place. Then beyond the veil, an innermost part which was called the holy of holies. But now Christ has come as the high priest of all the blessings which were to come. He has passed through the greater, the more perfect tent, which is better than the one made by men's hands, because it is not of this created order. And he has entered the sanctuary once and for all, taking with him not the blood of goats and bull calves, but his own blood, having won an eternal redemption for us. The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer are sprinkled on those who have incurred defilement, and they restore the holiness of their outward life. How much more effectively the blood of Christ, who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice to God with the eternal spirit, can purify our inner self from dead actions so that we do our service to the living God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responses. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God, God goes, goes up, up with shouts, shouts of joy. joy. The, the Lord, Lord goes, goes up, up with trumpet, trumpet blast. blast. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God, God goes, goes up, up with, with shouts, shouts of joy. joy. The, the Lord, Lord goes, goes up, up with trumpet, trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God goes, God goes up, up with, with shouts of joy. The, the Lord goes, goes up with trumpet, trumpet blast. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God, God goes, goes up with shouts, shouts of joy. joy. The, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. And Alleluia, Alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went home, and such a crowd collected that they could not even have a meal. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to take charge of him, convinced he was out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Genesis story of creation, when Adam and Eve are cast out of the Garden of Eden because of their sin, God commands a pair of cherubim to stand at the gate and prevent them from coming back in. God created us to live in his presence. He intended us to be holy as he is holy, but somehow sin got in the way and we now find ourselves separated from God's presence, and we struggle to see God in the world around us. But God did not abandon us. He never stopped loving us. And so throughout the ages, he has tried to reveal himself to us, 
And throughout the Old Testament, we read about the ways in which he showed himself to the prophets and to the matriarchs and the patriarchs of our faith. So fast forward to the time of Moses, and we read about the construction of the tabernacle, the holy of holies. By receiving the Ten Commandments, Moses makes an eternal covenant between God and his people. And no doubt you will recall the phrase, you shall be my people and I will be your God. And the Ten Commandments were a sign of that covenant. So when Moses comes down the mountain with the Ark of the Covenant, uh, the people build the temple, the tent of meeting, for God to dwell in. And there's an, uh, there's an elaborate period of design and construction, uh, which we can read about in the book of Exodus and also in 1 Kings. The most holy part of the temple was called the Holy of Holies. It's where the Ark of the Covenant was kept. And that is where the presence of God came to dwell on earth. Only the high priest was able to enter the Holy of Holies. And he would do so just once a year to make intercession with God on behalf of the people by offering the blood of sacrificed animals. In order to emphasize the sacredness of the Holy of Holies, there was a curtain dividing it from the rest of the people. And in Exodus and in Kings, we read how on this curtain were embroidered images of cherubim. They represent the divide between God and humanity, just like the cherubim guarding the gate of the Garden of Eden, preventing us from going in. The Holy of Holies was inaccessible to you and to me. Only the high priest could go in once a year. So when we read in the book of Hebrews that Jesus is the eternal high priest and that he has entered the Holy of Holies once and for all, this is extremely good news. Jesus, by dying on the cross and shedding his blood for us, takes down that veil that separates us from God. And we read that clearly in the Gospels where it describes the death of Jesus and when he dies, we read that the veil of the temple was torn in two. Jesus leads us behind the veil. Jesus leads us into the Holy of Holies. Jesus leads us back into the presence of God for which we were created. That is the good news.